I think this is just a moment in time. Enjoy it while it lasts and move on. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea. And on this channel, I talk about fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, make sure you join the fam and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a YouTube video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about fragrance. And as much as I'm kind of reluctant to label myself this, but I think I'm a low key freak head, okay? I've been talking about fragrances for a while. Um, I started my fragrance journey, my perfume journey, when I was 30. Now, six, almost seven years later, I'm still into fragrances. Now, before I get started in this video, I'm going to explain to you what we're going to be talking about, which is the K.I. Lee. The new K.I. Lee, it is the four summer scents vacay in a bottle. So, before we get started, I'm gonna let you know my fragrance profile, which is sweet. I love a sugar sweet. Even before I started wearing perfumes in my 20s, I was more so like the sweet, fruity, juicy type of scent. So, one of my favorites, most favorite scents were, um, I think it was Mango Something from Bath & Body Work back in the day. I got a lot of compliments and that body spray held a long time so <laughs> that was my that's just my favorite scent now I do have fragrances in my collection both niche and designer that are not necessarily fruity and sweet and juicy but at the end of the day that's my favorite go-to so yeah we're talking about vacay in a bottle so you have these four beautiful scents and guys I'm so excited to share these with you. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first up, we have Marrakesh in a bottle, and that's Orange Blossom. So, the notes in this are bergamot, orange blossom, pink pepper, Turkish rose, neroli, and cedar wood. This one right here is my absolute least favorite. Um, this one is very polarizing that's the best word I could use or to describe this scent if you like orange blossom you're going to be just all over heels head over heels with this one if you don't you won't now this is the loudest one in the collection I notice I'm not gonna spray it cuz I you can smell it right out of the bottle and that smell just kind of um, I, I don't like it to me, it smells like, because um, I like to order Indian food. I love Indian food. Goat korma, that's my favorite dish, with the butter, garlic butter naan, and the rose milk. That's my favorite dish, period. But anyway, when I go into um, the Indian restaurants, they like to burn their incense. And this is what this smells like to me, with that neroli, and that kind of musky, smell that orange blossom is it it smells just like that and I hate that smell so um I don't know if this Middle Eastern Ford scent I think that she paid a little homage to the Middle East with this one but yeah I do not like this one at all but it's loud and like I said if orange blossom is your thing you're gonna definitely like this one let's go to the next one Next up, we have Capri in a Bottle, the yellow one, and it is a Lemon Sugar 14. Guys, this is my absolute fave out of the entire collection. So, this one have lemon, sugar, freesia, raspberry, vanilla, and musk. If she came out with a full bottle of this, I would definitely buy the 100ml hands down. Now, do I think she's going to come out with a larger bottle of these? No. Um, I think that this is just like a moment in time drop. So it's kind of like her wedding scent. Get it while it's available. When it's not available, move on with your life. I think that's what this is. So I personally wouldn't even, <laughs> I would even stop asking guys if I were you. Because even, you know, they're pretty much paying those comments dust. <laughs> <laughs> they're responding, you know, they're not being mean, but they're responding to the comments, but they're not responding in a way of saying, you know, these will be, you know, 
hold on they're coming they're on the way the larger sizes so yeah it's just one of those things if you like it enjoy this moment in time but after that move on so yeah love this one this is my favorite scent this smell like a lot of people say lemonade i wouldn't say lemonade because when i think of lemonade i think of like a tartness this right here fine let's say lemonade but then you're pouring the whole bag of sugar in the lemonade so syrupy lemonade oh it smells so good and as a matter of fact even though i haven't smelled it in a while but y'all know i was a big fan of jackie Ina's hard to get well i feel like they smell super similar if not the exact same um like i said i haven't smelled hard to get in a while but based off my memory my smell memory bank they, these two are 20. so it's to the point of even when this run out you probably can go buy some hard to get in order to get this fixed because they smell exactly alike so um yeah i don't know who were the nose behind these but and, and this and hard to get but these are very similar so if you smell the yellow jackie ina bottle hard to get you smell this i love 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 this so yeah um a lot of people do compare hard to get and this one to devotion devotion is too rum heavy to ever to be compared to these it's too orange blossom and too rum heavy to even i really don't get much similarity with these i'm not a lot of people they say like a lot of different fragrances that i have not smelled smell like this like they said is one i think it's hufflepuff from house of siage i've never smelled that one but they said it smells like these as well um perhaps but yeah this right here is, if i had to say lemonade but don't think of a traditional lemonade. Think of a lemonade where we pour a whole box of sugar in it. <laughs> like that, that's what this is. It smells so good. So just, uh, it's my favorite. I love it. It's gourmand, but it doesn't smell like, well, I guess it kind of do smell edible because it's so sweet. And again, sweetness is my favorite fragrance profile. So yeah, I'm definitely all over this one if she do if i'm underestimating kaoli and they do decide to come out with a full bottle mona please do that i would buy this right away but honestly real talk i think this is just like i said a moment in time enjoy it while it lasts and move on next up is maui in a bottle and this is sweet banana 37. now i was so excited to see this because i think she kind of tipped us off when she did, I think she did a, a video with AI the Great. It was somebody she did a video with and um, they brought up banana or something like that. It was in some type of video she did, but she kind of tipped us off like, mm, you know, like coming soon, you know. So um, she didn't say that, but you know, when somebody made a statement, she kind of was like, mm hmm. So, um, yeah, she kind of tipped us off, so I was excited to smell that. Um, I didn't know what it was going to be. We didn't know what it was going to be, but um, so it was. So it seemed like it was something she was working on, and I was so excited because I never smelled a banana for fragrance before. So, and I know Mona, she kind of likes sweet sugar fun fragrances, so I knew she was going to kind of do it up. So, Maui in a bottle is sweet banana. Pear, coconut cream, jasmine, sandalwood, and vanilla. I'm gonna spray this, and I love this bottle color too. It's so cute. Mm. Definitely a sweet banana. Um, the banana does not give me like fake banana, but I definitely can see Maui. When I smell this, I just think automatically of a brown coconut that's being cut open and you know the fruit trays that you have in the Caribbean that's what I think of when I smell this but yeah I love this it, you smell the banana in the opening 
and then it goes right to coconut and then it kind of have a yeah see i smell the coconut cream the pear the jasmine yes i smell all of these notes yeah so this is a fun coconut forward scent um i think i may try to pair this with the um way y'all know they have the new body spray i think i'm gonna pair them together because both of them you know have kind of like a strong coconutty thing now this is more of a coconut cream and um i think the way is more like a like a coconut coconut so yeah i would love to see how these smell together but i like this this do make you feel like you're somewhere in hawaii honey just having some coconut and eating some fresh fruit and enjoying your life so yeah i like this this is this is a good one i would say this is my i don't know whether to say second or third because the next one i'm going to talk about i don't know which word place it either because i like it as well so hold on let's get to the fourth one last but not least is maldives in a bottle and this is ylang coco 20. so this is like the teal bottle it's the color i love this so much because it's the same color of the water in the maldives uh if you've ever been to cuba it's the same color as the cuban water uh, very beautiful very blue you can see straight to the ground you can see the fish because that's how clear and beautiful the water and unpolluted the water is so you have rosemary wild lemon star fruit banana blossom ylang ylang and coconut milk so I'm gonna spray it on this arm Mm. I love this one because I like rosemary. That's just first and fourth. Yeah, this is my second favorite. I'm sorry. I like rose. It's very green. I'm going to start there. It's very green. So, y'all know that same element that you that y'all really can't put y'all finger on with the Valentino, the green one? Because a lot of people are going up for that one, and I love it personally myself. By the way... They got a sale on it, um, a deal with the Nordstrom anniversary sale coming up. I'll link it for y'all. But yeah, <laughs> that green one that y'all like, that tea smell, that it's very serene and smooth. That, I think the star fruit is the one that kind of gives it a little sting. I call it a ting to your nose, like a sharpness. But, oh, this smells so good. Mmm. Yeah, this smells good. I love Maldives in a bottle. Now, this one isn't really... The coconut gives it kind of like a balance, but you really don't smell coconut like that. Like, coconut isn't like, wow, ta-da, watch out now, it's the little one and I'm not bow wow. It's not that. It's giving... It kind of grounds everything together, so you don't smell it, but you smell it enough to know that it gives everything like a... It rounds the scent out. So I like that because you know in the summertime, whenever when people think of summer fragrances, the first thing they want to run to is coconut. Um, <laughs> like I'm, it's like coconut overdose these days. But yeah, coconut isn't really loud in here. But at the same time, it seems like it just rounds everything together and make it sweeter and smoother. Oh, I love this. So yeah, I smell the star fruit. I love exotic fruit. So. A lot of people don't know what star fruit smells like, but yeah, I like excited fruit, so I'm probably the only weirdo that knows what it smells like. Um, I eat passion fruit for snacks, for God's sakes. Most people don't eat passion fruit. Most people eat passion fruit flavored things. I actually eat the horse's mouth, which is of actual passion fruit. So um, yeah, this this one smells good. It smells very clean fresh but it's not the clean and fresh where it's like laundry material it still smells like an actual perfume it's still perfumey and it's it's just very clean and green so i would definitely wear this on a tropical vacation probably and it does have um i do i do smell because i have i've heard some people say that it has like a masculine thing going on which it kind of does it could lean so your man can wear it or you could wear it is definitely up to you 
but I definitely see this as I can wear this in the daytime. I personally would wear it on a beach vacation in a daytime and at night for dinner as well. So actually I would wear this at night and I will wear the Maui in the daytime. Now the Capri lemon one, I would probably just wear that all day. Um, <laughs> Cause that would just smell, it smells like a cake. Uh, and the Mary Cash, I would just leave it at home. So yes, so my final verdict on all of them, I'm gonna rate them from my least favorite to my most favorite. Of course, like I told you in the video, my least favorite is Marrakesh in a bottle. Uh, I could have went all 36 of years of my living without smelling that one. It's very strong and I am not, yeah, it, it's, it's too strong for me. Um, when I saw it, I thought it was going to lean more. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I didn't look at the notes, so I'm thinking tangerine, like a sweet tangerine or something. But I didn't know orange blossom smell like that. So yeah, I, I'm not a fan. It's very mature. I mean, and it's very spicy. Um, and I don't even know if I would wear it in the summertime. But yeah, that's my least favorite. Next up is, I would say Maui in a Bottle. I really don't want to place it at three because I like Maui in a Bottle as well as Maldives the same. So, but it, it, for this sake, you know, from one through four, I have to put it somewhere. So yeah, I would say that one. And then I would say Maldives in the Bottle. Maldives is my second favorite. And my first favorite is the Lemon. So, yeah, that's the set. I wish we could kind of have like a party where all of us bring our set together and just exchange scents. I would definitely take everyone's lemon and I would give all the other ones away. I probably would keep Maldives in a bottle though because I like I'm smelling, mm, smells good. Now let's talk about longevity. Now, of course, y'all know my favorite one is the yellow one. I sprayed it on my house coat about two days ago. I smelled it today just for the sake of this video because that's why I did it. I still smell it like I just sprayed it yesterday. So as far as it staying on your clothes, there you have it. On the skin, the typical K.I. Lee, two to three hours. Um, Maldives in a bottle, that's very strong. Now the orange blossom one, I think that's darn near beast mode. <laughs> you can't get rid of that one if you wanted to. No, I, but I think that one it gives up because I did put it on my skin and I did, you know, try to weather the storm. And I think it got about four or five hours on my skin because the dry down ain't so bad. I ain't gonna lie, the dry down ain't so bad. It's more smooth. So, um, but if you can just get past the opening you know, um, you're making pro progress, but I still don't prefer. But on the skin, it is smooth. I gotta be fair, I gotta be honest. But yeah, so typically, your typical three hours for all of them. And yeah, y'all check it out. Um, like I said, I don't think this is going to be, I don't think this is gonna be a comeback kid. It's gonna be kind of like her wedding scent where you know you get it while it's in stock when it's out of stock it's bye bye forever um so yeah that's the thing with that um as far as her wedding scent i remember them saying last year and that was just k i lee on their page they said that they were going to bring it back so i don't know if they're going to bring it back after this drop because they just dropped about two days ago they just dropped the hair mist from the oud collection i think it's rose oud now they dropped a hair mist, so I don't know after this she's going to bring back, relaunch her wedding scent. Or maybe they just decided to sunset the wedding scent altogether. So we don't know. The only thing that we can do is just stay tuned and watch. Um, I don't know what they have in store for us. But if I, if they really could come out with a larger bottle of the yellow one, I would be so grateful 
But like I said, it smells so similar to Jackie Ina to if they did decide to um, let this one go. Honey, you can go get you some of the Jackie Ina one. Now, the Jackie Ina one does not last long, at least on my clothes. Um, it didn't last long on my skin either. That's the only reason why I didn't purchase it. And that was my only gripe with that one. It just did not last long. So, um, I see that it is out of stock. It's definitely out of stock at Sephora. And I think it's out, out of stock at her website. So, hopefully she's taking everybody constructive criticism and reformulating that and make it you know let it be stronger when it when she relaunches it uh, because it's definitely an excellent scent I love it it's one of those scents it's crowd pleasing you know you have some scents that <clears throat> is just very crowd pleasing even if it's not your thing and you still won't buy it but you can never say that it stinks you know what I mean like you can't say that it stinks like Greenwich Village, that's a crowd pleaser from um, Bud Number Nine. That's my favorite summer scent. Even though it's not your cup of tea, like let's just say you like something more, you know, stronger or more whatever, woody, whatever, you still can't say that it stinks. You may, it may not be your style, but you can't say it stinks because it smells good. It's just it's just one of those crowd pleasers that's just going to please everybody, and that's the same one with these lemon scents it's a crowd pleaser even if it's not your thing so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video um i'm not the freak head that really get into the dna of fragrances and all that i'm the i'm the regular freak head i mean i'm the layman's term freak head i'm gonna tell you whether it smell good or if it stinks so i'm 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 point blank period with me with mine okay so I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe see you on Instagram and I hope y'all enjoy the reel